Hi kids, welcome to Leisure World's Fitness Center. I'm your fearless leader. Welcome aboard. Today's class, we're gonna do a chair yoga class for some flexibility. We're seated all the time. Those hip flexors shrink. So what we wanna do is we wanna elongate those hip flexors. We wanna stretch out some muscles because if we're not moving, we're not active, everything's tightening up and shrinking. So the things that you will need for our class today will be a sturdy kitchen chair. You will also need a yoga strap. Oh my goodness, Susan, I don't have a yoga strap. That's okay, if you do, great. If not, I've got you covered here. Go ahead and grab a bath towel. And look what I did. I just rolled it up to a tiny little towel that I'll be using. Now if you have long legs, you might want to use a beach towel, but the only thing I'm afraid of with using a beach towel is that it makes it too thick to grab your hands, you know, for your hands to grab onto it. So see what works for you. Use the bath towel. If that's too short, then go ahead and use the beach towel. Feel free to stop the video at any time if you're feeling fatigued. Um, and modify as suggested. Also, if you have a yoga mat, that would be terrific. If not, don't worry. All I ask is that if you're doing this class that you have shoes on, shoes and socks, or take your shoes and socks off and do it in bare feet, okay? Don't do it in stocking feet. The tendency to slip and trip and slide is way too high. So it's either shoes on or shoes and socks off. Okay, grab that water as needed and feel free to get the drinks anytime you need to, all right? You should always consult with your physician before engaging in any physical activity program. By participating in this online exercise class, you assume all dangers, hazards, and risks of such participation. The exercises demonstrated by the instructors in this online class are physically demanding. If you are unable to safely perform these exercises, please modify them for your own safety or choose a different set of exercises. So go ahead, let's have a seat. We're going to, just for time purposes, we're going to center ourselves <clears throat> um, very simply. Sit all the way back against your chair. Make sure your feet are flat on the floor. Those shoulders are above your hips. The abdominals are engaged. My shoulders are also pulling toward my ribs, away from my ears, and my chin is parallel to the floor. You can bring those hands and have those palms turned up on your thighs. Go ahead and have your gaze cast down, or you can close those eyes and try and center yourself. And while we're here, we're going to scan our body to see if there's any tightness anywhere. Sometimes we hold the tightness in our neck and our shoulders, and we'll try and work those areas out. Sometimes we feel tightness in the low back or maybe it's tightness in those hip flexors or your legs, wherever. Just go ahead and mentally scan your body and see where you're feeling any stress or tension. And for the sake of time, I want you to bring your awareness to your breath. Let's practice our Ujjayi breathing by inhaling slowly through the nose. Exhale slowly through the nose. And as you exhale, I want you to keep that breath to the back part of your throat. Kind of, you can make a guttural sound if that comes out and that's normal. Inhale here through the nose. Exhale through the nose. As we inhale, go ahead and count to the number four very slowly. Inhaling through the nose, here's one, two, three, four. Exhale slowly, four, three, two, 
and one. Go ahead, do that again. This time on your inhalation, very slowly and controlled. I want you to think of all the things for which you're grateful. Go ahead and exhale slowly. Perhaps it's your health. Perhaps it's your family. Perhaps it's a beautiful sunny day here in Arizona. Perhaps it's something else that you have in mind. Things that you're grateful. Good. Now throughout our practice, I'm going to re have you refer back to that intention of gratefulness and gratitude so that you can once again bring it to the forefront of your mind. Let's bring those palms together and rub them rapidly so we can create some warmth with those palms. Those eyes are still cast down or closed. Again, keep those shoulders away from your ears. Keep that posture tall. When those palms get warm, go ahead, open up those hands, cupping the hands, place right hand over right eye, left hand over right eye. Open up those eyes behind your palms and slowly bring those hands down in a prayer pose close to your heart. Very nice. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and open. Back into your prayer pose. Inhale and lengthen the sides of the body. Exhale and open. One more time here, inhale and lengthen. Now as we exhale, go ahead and lower that left hand and grab onto the chair. Inhale, really focus on lengthening that whole right side, reaching those fingertips toward the ceiling. Inhaling here, sitting up nice and tall. On the exhalation, go ahead and lean to the left, but be mindful that you're pushing that right hip into the chair. That right bicep is close to the ear. Keep breathing into that stretch. Option here, if you want a chest opening on that right side, go ahead, bring that right shoulder back just a little bit. And you can feel a stretch on that right side. That's only an option. Here's another option for you. If you want to look up at those right fingertips, go ahead and tuck that chin into your chest. Look underneath that right armpit. Follow the gaze all the way up. Only do that if it's comfortable for your neck. You don't have to do this. You can always keep that chin down. Breathing into that stretch. Inhaling here, bring that right shoulder back to center. And exhale, sit up nice and tall, lowering that right arm. Good. Grab onto that chair with that right hand. Inhale, raise this left arm, lengthening that whole side, reaching those fingers up nice and tall. Inhale. On the exhalation, go ahead and lean toward the right this time. Again, we're pushing that left hip into your chair, breathing into that stretch. Bring that bicep close to the ear. Lean as far as you can so you feel the stretch in the side of your body. Here's another option. If you want to open up that left side of the chest, go ahead and bring that left shoulder back. If you want to look up at those left fingertips, tuck that chin into your chest. Look underneath that left armpit. Follow that gaze all the way up. Only if that's available to you today. If not, just keep looking down and keep that head and neck in alignment. Let's bring that left shoulder back to center. Inhale here and lengthen and exhale and lower. Inhale, bring those shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, roll those shoulders back and down. Inhale, up, exhale, and lower. Sitting up nice and tall, those shoulders are pulled away from the ears. I want you to turn your head only and look over that right shoulder. Now, be mindful that you want to keep those shoulders facing forward. You don't want to twist that left shoulder. So those abdominals are engaged. We're sitting up nice and tall. Look over that right shoulder, breathing into that stretch. Go ahead and tuck that chin in, looking down at your shoulder. And then keep the chin tucked as you rotate your head forward, looking into your lap. Lift that head so your chin is parallel to the floor. Nice. Inhale here. 
on the exhalation, turn your head only to look over that left shoulder. Again, be mindful that you're keeping that right shoulder back. Those shoulders are square. Breathing into that stretch. Tuck that chin in, look down at that left shoulder. Keep the chin tucked, rotate the head once again so you're looking into your lap. Inhale, lift that chin to parallel to the floor. Very nice, that should feel nice and yummy for your neck. Okay, so let's sit forward a little bit, keeping those feet flat on the floor, hands on your thighs. We're gonna do a seated cat and cow here. So inhale, roll those shoulders away from your ears, hinge from the hip, and then push that chin toward the ceiling and where the wall meet, opening and stretching out that front part of the neck. On your exhalation, tuck that chin in, round out those shoulders, pull that belly button in, stretching out across the upper back. Inhale, shoulders away from the ears, hinging from the head, looking up. Inhaling through the nose. Exhale, tuck that chin in, round out those shoulders, pull the belly button to the spine, breathing into that stretch. Inhale here, release those thighs, bringing those shoulders up to your ears. Exhale and roll those shoulders back and down. Very nice, we're moving on with our stretches. Inhale here, bring those arms up. Exhale, and we're gonna hold them halfway here. Palms are facing knees. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Inhale. As you exhale, give yourself a nice big hug. Now, I want you to sit up nice and tall, pulling that belly button in. I want you to think about twisting from the torso, from lifting the ribs, and inhaling here. As you exhale, lift and rotate to the right as you look over that right shoulder. Breathing into that stretch. Now that left hip should stay on the mat. Think about wringing out those internal organs. Relaxing your shoulders. Breathing into that. Inhaling here. Our posture's nice and tall. Exhale and come back to center. Keeping the core engaged. Inhale here. Lifting from the ribs. Exhale. Now we're going to rotate to the left. Looking over that left shoulder. Keeping those hips facing forward. Breathing into that. Don't let that right hip lift. And I want you to think about bringing out those internal organs. And that's really good for your digestion. Inhale here. And come back center. Now this time we're going to change, change it just a little bit. Inhale. Posture's nice and tall. Abs are engaged. Lifting from the ribs. Exhale, rotate the body toward the right. Now look over that left shoulder. Breathing into that stretch. Remember, we're not doing this. That posture's nice and tall, pulling those shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, exhale, come back center. Inhale here, lifting. Exhale, belly button in. Rotate that body toward the left as you look over that right shoulder. Breathing into that stretch, keeping the core active, lifting and rotating from that thoracic spine. Good, inhale here, exhale, and come back center. Nice job, release that, go ahead, roll those shoulders back and down. Good, so now go ahead, get your drink as needed, and come to a standing position. We're gonna move on to some warrior poses. And I want you to stand behind your chair so you can face me and see me. Okay, that's why your mat is behind your chair. I'm standing to the side just so you can see my posture with the poses. Alrighty, so we're standing up nice and tall here. Let's start out with a, a downward facing dog. Those arms are shoulder width apart on your chair. Go ahead and step your feet back. Open up those legs, maybe mat width apart or hip width apart. We're gonna inhale here, pulling that belly button in. On the exhalation, go ahead and push those hips back, lengthening the arms, and keeping that belly button in. Now, we might still be a little tight, so my legs are straight. Maybe you can't straighten your legs. 
Just go ahead and bend those knees, but keep pushing those hips back. Keep pulling that belly button in. I want you to feel the stretch underneath those armpits. That head is above the heart. Those biceps are close to the ears. Inhale here. Exhale, and go ahead and walk forward. Good. Now, step those feet back. I'm going to step my left leg back, and I'm turning that left toe on a 45 degree angle. My left arch is in alignment with my right heel. Now you gauge the distance between your legs, but be mindful that this right knee doesn't go forward. I want you to keep that right knee just above your ankle. Now turn those hips to face the back of the chair. Those arms are shoulder width apart. Shoulders are away from the ears, that belly button's in. Inhale here. And then go ahead and lift that left arm. As you exhale, you're bending in to that right heel. That right knee, you're pressing into that right heel. That left leg is straight. Go ahead, if it's available to you, go ahead and lift that right arm. Again, we're facing the chair. The hips are not twisted, they're facing the chair. If you want to, you can always have your gaze look up or you can push your chin to where the ceiling and the wall meet, breathing into that. Here is your warrior one. Think about that gratitude and those things that, for which you're grateful. One more breath here. And exhale. Go ahead now. If you had your right hand on the chair, let's just go ahead and put that right hand on the chair. We're going to twist our hips so you face me or face the back of the chair and then have that left arm behind you still bending into that right knee. Now that right arm extends. Relax those shoulders, those palms face down. Go ahead and look at those left fingertips and then look at those right fingertips. Breathing into that stretch. The hips are facing me. Or they would be facing out toward the left. No, the right. Good. Go ahead and lower that right hand to the chair. Inhale, lift that left arm up and rotate both of those hips back to the chair, coming back into your warrior one. Lower that left hand to your low back. Inhale, lengthen this right arm. As you exhale, keep that belly button in. Remember, we're lifting and twisting from the to torso. Turn and look over that left shoulder. Now, I don't want those hips to turn. I want those hips to stay forward. Go ahead and breathe into that. Looking over that left shoulder. Another nice little twist, lifting and twisting from the torso. Keep that belly button in. Inhale here. And as you exhale, go ahead and come back toward that chair, facing the chair. Let's lift that left heel and walk that left foot forward. Shake out those legs. Now, how does that right side feel? Does it feel yummy? Good. Okay, so I'm going to turn around so you can see me on the other side now. Get your drink if you need to. And remember, you can always pause that video as needed. Okay, so we're going to start off with that downward facing dog. Arms are shoulder width apart, holding onto that chair. Let's open up those legs about mat width apart or hip width, hip width apart. Lengthening the arms, pull that belly button in, inhaling here. On the exhalation, go ahead and push those hips back, transferring the weight into those heels. Those arms are fully extended. My abdominals are engaged. I'm feeling a nice stretch underneath those arms. And if your knees are straight, you'll feel a great stretch in those hamstrings. If you can't straighten those knees, having those knees bent is perfectly fine. Do what's good for you. Keep breathing into that stretch for our downward facing dog. 
filling up those lungs with oxygen. On your next inhalation, go ahead and lift. And as we exhale, go ahead and walk those feet forward. Good. Lower those arms and maybe you just want to relax. Letting the arms dangle. Very nice. Okay, so we step that left leg back. We're going to work on the left side of the body. So hold on to that chair. We're going to step that right foot back now. All right, so my right toes are turned about 45 degrees out, out to the right. Uh, my right arch is in alignment with my left heel. I'm going to turn my hips so that they're facing the back of the chair. My shoulders are away from my ears. Inhaling here. Exhale, go ahead and bend that left knee, keeping that left knee above the ankle. All the weight is in that left heel. Good, those hips face forward. Inhale here, lift this right arm, or left arm up. And go ahead and lift that right arm up as an option. You can always keep that right arm here, remember. Breathing into that. Option here, you can have your gaze look up toward the ceiling. Or you can push your chin to where the ceiling and the wall meet. Whatever works for you. And focus on that gratitude, the things for which you're grateful. Being here, being alive, loving life, loving your family. One more breath. Now go ahead and lower that left arm. We're going to turn your hips toward the right, lowering that right arm behind you. Go ahead, if it's available, lift that left arm. Those hips are turned. My arms are extended, palms facing down, shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, bend into that left knee, and then Look over those left fingertips, breathing into that. Here's your warrior two. You're pressing into that left heel and the left big toe mound of your foot. Make sure this is open so we get that nice adductor stretch here. That right leg is straight. Breathing into that. Go ahead and lower that left hand to the chair. Reach this right arm up and over. Twist those hips to face the back of the chair. Lift up that right heel and walk that right foot forward. Relax, letting those arms just dangle. How are we feeling? Get your drinks as needed. Good. I know I'm breezing through this. I just want you to get uh, a little taste here of some chair yoga that we're doing. I'm turning my chair back to face you, and now I'm going to have a seat. <clears throat> Remember that strap I asked you to have or the bath towel? Well, here's the time to take it and to grab onto it. Just going to make it a little bit smaller. Good. All right. So sit to the front of your chair. We're not leaning back here, guys. Uh, oh, yoga is all about posture. And think of it this way. When you suck that tummy in and you stand up tall, you lose 10 pounds right off the bat. Like this, belly sticking out. Just saying. All right. So grab the ends of that towel and place that right foot in the middle of the towel. My knees bent. Now I'm sitting up tall, pull that belly button in, and go ahead, extend, and straighten that right knee. Inhale here. On the exhalation, now push through that right heel and see if you can lift that leg a little bit higher. Now you may not be able to go this high. If you're here, that's great. Do what you can. Just lift that leg so you can feel the calf stretch and up into the hamstrings. Make sure you're sitting up tall. Very important. Breathing into that stretch. Now go ahead, place both of those uh, towels, handles, in that right hand. 
Inhale here, sitting up tall. As you exhale, open up that right leg out to the side. Ooh, that feels yummy. And maybe you want to extend that left arm. That thumb is pointing up. Sitting tall, inhale here. You can stay facing me. Or maybe you want to look over that left shoulder toward that left thumb. Keep pushing through that right heel. Keep that right knee straight. Keep breathing into that stretch, relaxing those shoulders. Inhale here. And go ahead, bring that right leg back to center. As you exhale, grab onto the towel with that left hand. Keep that left, right foot flexed. Inhale here. Exhale, bring that right leg toward the left. Keep pushing through the heel. Maybe it crosses over that left knee, maybe not. But I want you to feel that stretch in that outer left hip. Extend that right arm, sitting up tall. Thumb points toward the ceiling. Option, go ahead and look over that right shoulder. Keep breathing into that stretch. And you know what I'm grateful for right now? I'm grateful that you're joining me for this class. Inhale here, and bring that leg back center, and exhale. Now bend that right knee, and cross it above that left knee. Go ahead and take that towel off, place it on your thigh. We're going to continue with that stretch in that right outer hip. Inhale, bring those arms up as we lengthen the sides of the body. Exhale, now hinge forward from your hip, reaching those fingertips forward. Keep reaching through the crown of the head. Keep that right foot flexed, pulling that belly button in. Pushing those hips back, feeling that nice figure four stretch in the right outer hip. Relaxing those shoulders. You can always hold it here a little bit longer, but for the sake of time, inhale, belly button in. Use those abs and lift. Exhale, and lower. Good. Place that right foot on the floor. Now go ahead, grab the ends of that bath towel and put the left foot in the middle of the towel. Your knee is bent, inhale here. As you exhale, go ahead, extend that leg, pushing through that left heel, sitting up nice and tall, and then maybe you wanna lift that left leg. Doing what you can here, feel the stretch in your calf and your hamstrings. Relax those shoulders. Breathing into that. And then go ahead, place both of those ends of the bath towel in that left hand. Sit up tall, abs in. Inhale, on your exhalation, let's open up that leg out to the side. And maybe we extend that right arm. Maybe you can look over that right shoulder. Keep pushing through that left heel. Keep that ujjayi breath, inhaling and exhaling through your nose. On your next inhalation, go ahead and bring that left leg forward. Grab onto that band or those uh, that bath towel with the right hand, and then exhale, bring that left leg across the right leg. Sitting up tall, extend that left arm, thumb up, exhale, turn that head, relax those shoulders, and maybe your leg is feeling a little shaky, and that's perfectly normal because your body hasn't been used to stretching this way. Nice, inhale here, exhale and come back to center. Bend that left knee and cross it above the right knee. Placing that towel either on your hips or I'm gonna just put it behind me. Inhaling here, flex that left foot, lengthen, exhale, hinge forward. Again, keep that head and neck in align with your spine. You're not looking up and you're not tucking that chin in. You're looking forward of that right foot. Keep pushing that left hip back. Keep that left foot pushing away from you. Good. Inhale here, engage those abs and use those abs to lift. Exhale and lower. Uncross those legs. Now, open up those legs at least hip width apart. 
We're gonna do one final stretch here. Let's start off with some windshield wipers. Okay, keep those abs in. Breathing into that. All right, this time I want you to hold those legs over to the right. You're bending that left knee. One cheek is on the chair. Your left hand holds on to the chair. The right cheek is off the chair. Sitting up nice and tall, belly button in. Inhale here. As you exhale, sink into the ball of the foot. Lower that right knee toward the floor. No, left knee toward the floor. And then tuck that left hip under. You'll feel a really good stretch here in those hip flexors. Just breathe into it. Love that yummy feeling. You'll stretch out the quad here too, the tops of your thighs. Make sure you're sitting up tall and you're not doing this. Abs in. Inhale, exhale. Maybe you wanna turn toward that chair. Keep those hips facing forward. Release that left knee and then look over that left shoulder. Lifting and rotating from the torso. Inhale here, exhale and lower. Grab onto the sides of the chair, and once again, windshield wiper those legs. This time I want you to hold it over to the left. You're on the right ball of your foot. One cheek, left cheek on the chair, right cheek off the chair, right hand holds on to the chair. Pull that belly button in, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale here. As you exhale, sink that knee toward the floor and push that right hip forward. Shoulders are back, abs are in. Breathe into that stretch. Stretch out those hip flexors, very important. With all the sitting that we're doing at the computer or watching television, very important. Good. Go ahead and sit fully on the chair. Inhale, that right arm is out to the side. Exhale, slowly rotate to the left. Pull that belly button in and rotate from the torso looking over that left shoulder. Breathing into that. Inhale and release that chair. Exhale and lower. And come back to center for me. Those legs are hip width apart. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, bring those arms up. Lengthening the sides. Exhale and slowly lower, bringing those thumbs to your third eye. Have clear and loving thoughts. Bring those thumbs to your heart. Have clear and loving intentions. Bring those thumbs to your mouth and have clear and loving communication with all beings on earth. Namaste. And thank you for joining me.